Hey guys, welcome back. So we're in day eight. So day eight is another gloomy day, guys. It is literally about 12 o'clock and it's gloomy outside. Um, it's not raining, but it's just not. It's like the perfect weather to sleep or read. Just total relaxation, you know, cozy. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to read, not read, sorry. Watch the movie adaptation to this. I read this back in uh, June for Caribbean. Absolutely love it. So I knew I wanted to watch the movie at some point, but the thing about it is the movie is in French, and it's called Sugarcane Alley. They changed the name from Black Shack Alley to Sugarcane um, Alley. So, and it's in French. So I knew I had to have time because when you watch in subtitle, you literally have to sit there and read you know what's going on so and I dig and dig until I found a site that had it I have no idea why it was so hard to find this movie uh, well part of it could be because it's in French so I'm going to be watching the, it I did start already um, and I was like oh god let me pause and do the intro for this and so and then I'll talk more about it so um, to see you know so far the kid that they are using this is a coming-of-age story in Martinique and uh, This is a, a treasured book. It's very much an academic book as well in uh, Martinique and other French-speaking country um, but this is the English version which I I Wouldn't be the perfect person to tell you whether or not it was translated well, but for me I absolutely love it. So I'm taking it as the translation is done well. If you are from Martinique or you are French and have read this in French, chime in. I would love to hear your, your thoughts. Now, I've watched quite a few subtitle movies. Um, subtitle movies doesn't really bother me, but I do know I have to actually pay attention because I have to be reading as I'm watching. So we're gonna be jumping back into this movie and I will give you my thought it is considered a masterpiece um, the critics on this is amazing it is an old 1983 version but I believe there is a remastered um, version from 2021 this is not the one I'm watching I'm watching the original which is from 1983 and I love the old look of it. I love the gritty uh, look. There's a character in there of um, this older man um, and he is the guy that was on the cover, um, portrayed on the cover of that book Slave Old Man. Um, let me grab that book so I can show you. Um, I believe I believe it's this guy because as soon as I saw the look on that man, it, 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 he just strike me as this is the guy that they used to portray this book. This is another really good book, another book that is also a French book that was um, translated into English um, and Caribbean. So we're gonna get back into this movie, and thank God my chair is comfy because <laughs> it is a hour and forty one minutes. So. Let me get back into this. A little commentate. It's one of those boys will be boys kind of movie with this young boy and this is his friend. The whole deal of the book is they are in a plantation. They work their their parents, um, their guardian. In this case, the main character, his guardian is his grandmother, very old. And they're working on the sugarcane plantation, um, which they actually live in the, the area as well, um, where they call it Black Shack Alley. And oftentimes, because of that, these kids are not in school. Um, they are pretty much left to roam and do as they please. And there's a particular scene where they got in some serious trouble and did some <laughs> some things. And I'm watching the movie part of it now where I'm literally like, oh, they got this part really, <laughs> really good in the movie. Um, whoever decides, to, whoever directed this is already amazing. I cannot pronounce his, his name. 
again french folks um but i'm here for this part of the movie I don't know who this actress is that's playing the grandma. She good. <laughs> she is good. I love this part that they added in where she is mad about this little boy. He's brilliant. He's still boy me, you know, growing in pain and doing the shenanigans that you expect for his age group. But he's also very smart academically, and he got an opportunity. Um, to take, uh, um, he had to take a test within his group and he was one of the people that was selected to take the actual scholarship exam, which he passed. And the scholarship that they gave him, keep in mind, they're very poor. They live in a sugarcane alley, literally. And, um, he's raised by his grandmother that doesn't have anything. And she can't be, she can't work so much because she's old and old and frail and, you know, and even she was younger and fit. They don't pay them nothing. They were rip off. They were taking advantage of the people from the community. Um, you know, it, it's another form of slavery without being without labeling slave. Um, and so he realized he he's thinking, okay, he's going now to to find out information about the scholarship that he got, and they only paying twenty five percent. The scholarship is literally twenty five percent. And what they expect her to pay every three months is impossible. Even if she was to scrape up every dime she made, it still wouldn't cover what they want. So she's having that moment where she's just having that outburst. And it's like the acting is on point. But she's she going to make it happen. <laughs> she's going to make it happen. You know who she remind me of? Um, the the grandmother from Soul Food. That's what she remind me of. And I wish I could show you, but the glare on the computer is terrible. The the glare on this computer is just not picking up well at all. So, unfortunately. read the book had I known that they were gonna chop out half of their book eliminated a complete character like eliminate like like the person's dead <laughs> said it twice in the story the person's dead not even Talking anything about that person which affected this poor child in this book. No wonder they renamed that this this book Sugar Sugar K Alley because it sure as hell ain't black. Cake. Why did they do and the, the actors were so good? Why did they do that? Oh This was this was. I thought Sounder was was bad. Of 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 how they chopped that book up, um. But it's still, still, uh, it's still you still identify with so much of it. It is a good movie. Let me just say that. If you didn't read the book, if you didn't read the book and you watch this movie, it's just phenomenal. But because I read the book. And I realized how much they chop. There's a part in this where he's struggling to accept his gift. To accept education is his gift. It's, 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 he's brilliant. And that is just completely not in the, in, the, in the movie at all. There's a part where he is having to be... First of all, they end it where his the, the death scene happened. Which happened early on in the book. Not early on, but 
quite a bit of pages in because there's things that happen. Yo. <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed they did that. I'm so disappointed they did that. Yeah. Um. Absolutely read the book. Read the book. It's a masterpiece. It's a phenomenal book. Don't know about the movie so far. I can't, I can't even. I, I don't even want to tell you to read to watch the movie, because the movie really did not represent the book. It just gave you it gave you bits and pieces of the book, but it it literally took away a lot of the important parts, the parts that really capture you of the little boy. Um, the the boy little boy acted his butt off in this. That that little boy can act. Um, I mean, he's a little boy now. Lord, I want to know what he looks like now, cause this this was in 1983, so he's much older than I am. Um, grown man now. Um, but he acted his butt off, which I like because a lot of times we get children acting. Sometimes it just don't work out too well. The, 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 this little boy act. Um, the facial expression, the scenes of when he's seen things that you know can change a, a little boy's life. Um, that was, that was done well in the movie, but Lord, they changed a lot of things in this book that I did not think they were going to do. It, it, initially when they said that person was like dead, I thought it was just a, 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 a cover up sort of way to say that person, but I didn't realize they were going to stick to that, the whole damn book, the, um, whole damn movie, but yeah. So... I'm scared for the next book I want to watch a movie adaptation to. So anyway, let me show you what I'm working on. I'm working on another junk journal because it is too gloomy. I need a little bit more light um, to work on that dress because it's just, I need to um, open up one of the sides and I don't want to do that in this light. I need proper daylight. So tomorrow is supposed to be sunny. Let's see what the weather, oops, sorry. Let's see what the weather is talking about. Oh, tomorrow is supposed to be sunny. Cloudy, sunny. But, um, so I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Weather's still supposed to be fairly decent. All the way to Saturday and then Sunday is supposed to snow. So we'll see. Um, so, yeah. Y'all. <laughs> I, so, I was so into this. <sighs> that hurt my feelings. They hurt my... I, when I was looking at the time, I said... And the end of the, the movie is almost at the end, like, okay, let me mute this. The mute, the movie was almost at the end, I'm like, I, I, um, where's this character at? It's nowhere. Didn't even exist. So, um, just to be clear, you need to read the book. Absolutely need to read the book. Um, they chopped, they chopped the hell out of this book up. Um, so anyway, I will see you guys. Well, no, let me show you. So then I'm also got these two brown paper bags. Um, so this is going to be like a Christmas gift that I'm making for two, two other people. And I think that's it. I think that's it because I already made my niece. This is supposed to be my God's daughter's. Um, she likes purple, so that's what this is going to be, but it's going to have a lot of lace and stuff on it. Never did anything like that, but in my mind, that's the design I want to do. And then I'm doing a nude with this one. Um, and this one, I'm considered doing a black with this one. I've never done like a full on black for this I've done the envelope black but I've never done um, the brown paper bag black so that is the goal um, for the rest of the day so um, that's what I'm gonna be doing just to, just to get the painting out of the way and that kind of stuff because that's time-consuming um, um, because you know the drying that had to get done and then little by little do the inside part I don't want to wait till last minute you know to to do all this 
kind of stuff that I need to do. And um, especially since I'm not doing anything else besides reading, I am into this already. This is the short story collection. So I should be able to finish it today and talk about it maybe tomorrow. Um, but that's what I want to do right now. And I might watch another movie. Not an adaptation, but just like a regular movie. I haven't watched it like I sit down and watch a regular movie in a while. So, that's looking like an option. you know while I'm here and I have the time let me do all of this because um, at some point I won't be home to do all of this so I made let's see one so I made 10 earrings um, so I bought these uh, I don't even know what you call them but you can just like put the earrings in and just to have it packed so it looks cute and um so while it is sitting here i'm going to let it sit here pack up everything and then have this sit here for the night and then tomorrow pack it up i'm probably going to make some more because i'm trying to think of all the people that requested earrings that i want to give an earring to these are you know friends and family that wants me to make them earrings so it's a it's a cool Christmas gift so <laughs> that said I am going to pack up plus I painted uh, the first coat on the new journals of paint so it actually I think it's dry so I think I'm going to um, hmm. I'm going to do another coat and that will be it and then tomorrow I can start oh my I had sitting here tomorrow I can start working on that I also have these leather quite a few leather that I'm considering some interesting artwork I want to do this is supposed to be an earring that I'm supposed to sew of course it's not even I gotta sew it so I have some other creative earrings that I want to try out now that I have that new sewing machine that I can use that I'm considering but these are full um, leather this is actually real leather but this one is full leather so this will be easy to sew so I'm thinking my mind is going on the creative part of making something different. But these earrings that I made are earrings that I've made before. Um, they're not new. So, that's a good thing. Yep.
So alright guys, I'm going to end this here. Today has been a very productive day. So, um, glad I was able to, this was not planned. But I'm glad I had them, I was in the mood to make these earrings because I made 10. So happy. And again, some of these are gift. Um, and some are... Most actually, they all give. What am I saying? Um, and so, yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm going to end this here. And I will give you guys a close-up shot of all the earrings in the morning. I'm hoping that we have some daylight, actual sun tomorrow. This, this cloudy, dreary, rainy two days is just not my mood <laughs> so I'm hoping it's sunny and I think it would just be so much better to see this these earrings um, in the daylight so um, so tomorrow we'll be doing more art and craft and I will be talking about short story collection that I have been reading as well as maybe I will talk about some that I've read this year um, it hasn't been that many but it's been some interesting ones so yeah i will see you guys in a few bye